6.4 number 7. Here we have a trinomial that we want to factor and instead of factoring, factoring it by grouping like the last section, we're going to factor it by trial and error. So we're just going to basically list a bunch of different binomials and uh, just see which one works. So in order to narrow down some of our choices, we're going to look at what are the factors of the first term, 4. So we have a 2 times 2 or 4 times 1 are the possibilities. So we're either going to start off our binomial with 2x times 2x or 4x times x. And I'm just going to start with the 2x times 2x and try out different factors of the 9 to see if any of those work and give us the right middle term. If they don't, then we'll switch over to the 4x times x. And so you see that's why it's called the trial by error. You just kind of try out a bunch of stuff hopefully try all possibilities and see which one gives you the right middle term. So let's see if we can get the signs to help us out a bit first. The last term is a 9, positive 9. That means that the 3 times 3 or 9 times 1 is going to be the same signs. So we either have plus plus or minus minus. They have to add up to the middle term of a positive number so that means I must use the plus plus combination. So I'll do plus, plus, and let's try the threes first and see what we get. And now we just look at the middle terms because we already know that we picked the uh, first terms and the last terms to work. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 3 times 3 is 9. They're all set. We don't have to think about them. Middle terms, 3 times 2x is 6x plus 2x times 3 is 6x. So to figure middle terms, always do inner, outer and then add them up. And that gives us 12x. That's not what we want, so we keep going. And you just keep going until you find the one you want. Because we want 15x to be our sum. So then I stick with the 2x because I still have another option to try. The 9 times a 1. And I still know they're going to be plus and plus. And now I look at the middle. 18x plus 2x. 20x. That didn't work either. All right, well, we're done with the two x's. And then we go over to 4x, x. And again, I'll just start with the 3 and see what happens. Plus 3, plus 3. Middle terms, 3x plus 12x. And that gives us 15x. That's what we're looking for. If that didn't work, I would have kept going. So I'm going to circle that so we know it's our correct answer. But let's say that I hadn't gotten to that one yet. I would keep going and I want to show you one other thing you have to watch for when you're using this trial and error. If I use the 9 and 1 first, so 4x, x and 9 and 1 like that, then I would say okay well let's see what the middle terms are. 9x and 4x is 13x. Didn't work. So then I would keep going with the 4x and x and then because the 4x and x are two different factors, unlike up here where we had 2x times 2x the same thing, I also need to think about well what if the 1 and the 9 have switched positions? Right, because if they switch positions, plus 1 plus 9, now, instead of the 9 hitting the x, I have the 9 hitting the 4x. And can you see how this combination is going to give us a di completely different middle term? Whereas, if I switch things around up here, no matter where I put the 9 and the 1, 9 always hits a 2. So, and the 1 always hits a 2 also. So it doesn't matter. We're going to get the same middle term anyways. All right, so here I would say I get 1x plus 36x, 37x. And that still doesn't work. So we keep going, and eventually we would try this guy right here. And that one is our answer. And the way I usually work these is, if you try out a few of these and you like this method, it's a really good method to use, because after a while, you're going to start seeing patterns that help you more quickly arrive at the correct numbers. If you don't really like this method too much, you can always use the factor by grouping method in 6.3, and just do it out that way.